Here I am back out in the greenhouse. The last time uh, I was out here, I was showing you how to install a uh, irrigation misting system for a small greenhouse. And I got it all together and I was excited and happy. I was slapping myself on the back. And it wasn't until I started to put my seed trays out that I really was a bonehead. I didn't think this thing all the way through. So let me show you what I'm talking about. I did a nice job with my misting system. I got three spray nozzles and they cover this whole section down here of seed trays. Fantastic, great coverage, light mist, exactly what I wanted except for one thing. I don't always have nine seed trays on this rack. So in fact, what I would be doing is I would be watering open space that makes no sense at all so about 1 30 2 o'clock in the morning I wake up and I go oh my goodness what have I done here this is not gonna work and I laid awake for a while and then I remembered a way to solve this problem those of you that have been following me know that I've been using micro spray systems out in my garden and here's one of the parts of the micro space system. This is a micro nozzle. It's a uh, 180 nozzle and it has a little valve on it and they come on stakes uh, which you purchase and of course the nozzle is on the top of this. And so I decided what I'm going to do is I'm going to modify this and I'm going to install it into my uh, pipe so that uh, I have a on off nozzle on each one of my misting spray heads. I'm going to go ahead and remove one of the spray nozzles and like I say they're they just screw in and that means they will unscrew. A part of the micro spray systems there's these little couplers that you use to install into your main line which is normally a half inch line and it just pops in there just like that now part of the micro spray system I've cut this little piece here and now I'm going to shorten the length of this tube and I'm going to shorten the length of the other side of the tube this is quarter inch tubing by the way and I've removed the old nozzle and now all I have is a like a ball valve uh, right here in the center of it on off so now I'm going to install that to my coupling And as you can see, that just pushes right on. Now I'm going to take my misting nozzle and connect that right into that quarter inch tube. And I'm going to turn that little nozzle on. So now I have my misting spray head with an on off on it. I'm going to go ahead and do that to the remaining two. So there we have it. We have the uh, three nozzles now attached with the little mini ball valves on them. And now what I'm going to do is go uh, turn the water on and see how successful this little uh, idea works out. Okay, I've turned them back on. And as you can see, sprays are working good. And let's shut this one off in the center and see how this works. Oh yeah, that's what we're trying to do. Be able to control our nozzles. 
So when I start off, I have one little nozzle here to, uh, to do my spraying with. And as I expand uh, into more trays, I will go ahead and uh, uh, turn the sprays on independently. And so this is going to work out great. I'm reducing the amount of water. And you can also adjust these uh, little nozzles here down to control your spray flow. Oh, a little too much. Fantastic, fantastic. So we solved that problem. Now we can go on to bigger things. Before I forget, uh, I just want to cover something that was asked of me. Uh, one of the questions was, what happens if you accidentally punch a hole in the wrong spot? Do you have to go ahead and put replace a whole new piece of pipe in there or you recouple it or what do you do? No, you don't. Man has great ingenuity. They've come up with these little plugs that pop off of this here little tree that they're mounted on and they just pop right into the hole that you've made or mismade and then you just go ahead and go ahead and put a uh, a new coupling in in a different area oh. 